It's kind of funny how life works. Um, it was at a time where I kind of left corporate America. I had a lot of miles traveling across the country. I had on a lot of weight. And um, after 18 years, I decided to make a change. And I left a lot of things behind, but my life is much richer in every aspect of my life right now. Creating a company on my own, reinventing myself, and having the mindset to, to live a healthier lifestyle. And then I remember March of uh, 2015, I remember the couple weeks into uh, joining Lifetime, and we just moved into this new house. And I was standing in front of the mirror, and I was like, you know, you have a long way to go. And that's when I decided to really um, go all in and have a personal trainer and then take uh, private lessons with uh, Meredith Pilates. Those that know me know I'm a pretty competitive person. Growing up, I was very competitive playing sports, um, with business, with work, through my entire career. You know, I uh, coached soccer. You know, I have, I have a 10 year old daughter. I've coached her since she was five. When you have trainers, you really have to have the mindset to let them drive and to listen and uh, know that they know more than you do. And I think one of the things that has helped me is to listen more, uh, be a little bit more patient because they're coaches too. Legs, bend the knees. Danny always makes me laugh, and uh, but he makes me work really hard too. I've seen him make these huge transformations in his lifestyle not just wait, you know, through work and his successes with his work, his girls, his little one. Uh, I remember when she was born, I got a text that night with a picture, that was so sweet. The first time I met Danny, you know, he's kind of sarcastic, he's kind of funny, but when he shows up for a workout, it is go time, game face on. I don't ever have to worry about pushing him. When he shows up, he's ready to go. New Old Danny, Danny, new Danny. I get up every day and I compete against myself because I want to be better. Um, it's not about the number of reps, it's not about the weight, it's just about exercising uh, efficiently. I know that I can't reverse time, so I'm going to always be a, a father that's probably older than most fathers for the kids that age, and I can't reverse that. But what I can do is make sure that I'm healthier and better shape, let them have the, their dad bods, and I'll continue to work on mine. It's not easy to lose 70 to 80 pounds. Um, and he has a super stressful job, but he still makes it a priority to meet with me, to meet with James. The way that he juggles it all is just amazing. What I love about my life now is, is my family. Meg and my two girls, I mean, they've been through this journey with me. He works hard to make a better life for me and my mom, my sister. And I'm just proud of him out of all the accomplishments he's made out of the years, either if it's with his company or if it's with his health or at Lifetime. It's just, he, I'm very proud of him because he's worked hard to get, only get better. Dad, you ready? Game on. Above my closet, it says mind, body, and soul. And working out really helps me cross off all those. Um, it makes me feel better. And when I feel better, I become, I'm a better dad, a better husband. I mean, a family's everything. Um, out of all the things and all the white noise that happens, you have to make yourself a priority. I, I think we wake up every day and we think about so many other things and so many other people. But I think once you get to that point in life, you have to really start thinking about yourself. And the first thing you should be thinking about is your health.